everybody. We are headed to Elkhart, or actually headed to Goshen. And um, I'm gonna pick up a camper doing something a little bit different this time. I am uh, living out on a Thursday. It's like 9 a.m. right now. And I'm going to run a shore load over to Anna, Illinois. Means I'll go get the camper. It's like a seven hour drive over to Anna, Illinois. And um, I'll spend the night out tonight. It's Thursday night. I'll be back early Friday. So, and then I'll probably take another one, go pick another one up Saturday to deliver to Texas. But I want to get a short run in over to Anna, Illinois. It's a short run for me. I mean, basically a day run. Uh, a little more than a day, but not much more. And uh, $1.96 a mile. And it's a little bitty old wolf pup. Not even 4,000 pounds, I don't think. So, uh, it's a travel trailer, so. That'll be fun to pull that. Won't hardly take any mile. Uh, much more mile per gallon than what I'm getting without even pulling one or being that light. So we're going to do that today. Uh, we're just getting started and headed that way. So I'll keep you guys posted. Talk to you later. All right. I stopped at a small gas station instead of one of the big big uh, fuel stations because they this place had diesel at 525 versus paying 550 and it just kicked off so I've got to, I'm going to tap this up as far as I can get it Fill it up till it overflows. Fuel right now is for most of the truck stops are like five dollars and fifty cents. This place in Henderson Thornton's had it at five twenty-five, but it's not a uh, travel center where the diesel will fill up real fast. So you just have to be patient. But I didn't have, I still had in my tank, I probably had half of this was full uh, with the $4. $4 and 50 something cents I got down in Texas. And this thing's gonna kick off at $200. My card will do 200 and that's it. That almost filled it up. That was 38 gallons. Which that's about what I thought I had left. So that is full. I'll keep doing that. I'll be able to do that with this little pup trailer. So I'll keep looking out for low fuel prices as I, as I go along. All right, I'm gonna get off here. Hey everybody. I wanna give a few tips on what I've found that's helped me save fuel and hopefully it'll help you. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's really three tips. And the first one, I think maybe sums it up for all of them, but Number one is slow down. Just slow down. Live in the moment. <laughs> you don't have to rush. You don't have to rush. If you just slow down, you will save fuel. Save on your miles per gallon. And I can't tell you how many times I'm cruising along. I'm usually 
65 to 70 in a 70 mile per hour zone, especially with the load. I may get a little bit above that, 70, 75 when I don't have a load, but but I can't tell you with a hauling a load and how many times somebody hauling another RV just flies by me going at least 80. And I'm thinking, well, there goes somebody complaining about fuel costs. Um, you gotta be in a rush, I mean, that's fine, I guess, but uh, this is tips on how to save fuel, and the number one tip is just slow down, just slow down. Everything's gonna be all right. Uh, the second thing is um, everybody's truck's gonna be different, but for mine, 2,000 RPMs is about where I wanna stay below to keep to get good fuel mileage. I don't know what it would be for your truck, but 2,000 for me, I try to stay below 2,000 RPMs. Um, right now, I don't have a load, and it's almost right at 2,000, and I'm going 70 miles per hour. So um, if I get much above 70, then it's going to start rising above that 2,000 RPMs. And the third is don't use your cruise control. Now, it, you know, if you're on a flat area or something, I guess it's not that bad, it's fine. But when you're in hills and things, I mean, if you got your cruise control set for 70 and you start going up a hill, you're, I mean, your accelerator's just gonna slam to the ground because your vehicle's trying to keep you at 70, and you're, so your accelerator's just gonna hammer down going up a hill, and your RPMs will shoot up three, three maybe even 4,000 RPMs just to uh, compensate to get up that hill. Whereas if you're not, if you don't have on the cruise control, you can just, take it slow uphill and make sure it doesn't do that real quick, slam to the ground, force all that fuel through your carburetor. <clears throat> Not if you, I don't even know what it's called now. Uh, fuel injectors or whatever. But that just pushes more fuel through that unnecessarily. And now you may be going up a hill and get to the top of the hill and you're down to 50 miles an hour but at least you've not lost a lot of fuel in the process and caused your fuel mileage to go down that's just some tips that i do i mean i know people like to go fast and get places and go places but if you can just slow down and enjoy the moment live in the moment enjoy where you're at look at things and just not worry about where you gotta be at a certain time. Now there are some instances I know where time is critical, but um, in this case, I'm, I'm talking about saving fuel and that's my three tips for saving fuel. And it all kind of wraps around just slowing down and taking your time. And, not getting all worried about getting somewhere real fast, where you gotta be and all that. I find when I do that, I, I forget what I'm doing and I'm just trying to get to one spot and not living in the moment. So I guess that's part of this too. <laughs> Thank you time and just enjoy life. All right, that's it. Hopefully this helps, if it does, please like please share, please subscribe, please hit that notification bell so you can get more content like this. I sure do appreciate it. It helps out a lot. So we'll talk to you all later. Hey everybody. We are about 30 minutes away of getting to our camper. Uh, we're actually going to Goshen, Indiana, not Elkhart, so we're probably 30 minutes out. Uh, we've gotten pretty 
good fuel mileage. I've ridden up here most of the way with the windows down. It's 73 degrees, it's a beautiful day. Uh, 17 miles per gallon, so I'm doing good with that. But yeah, we're almost up here, so uh, I haven't shown much of this trip. Uh, going to Anna, Illinois, I'll probably catch uh, some of that as there'll be a different route and everything, show some different things. So uh, we got a little camper to pick up here. Um, there's a chance I may stop at Walmart. I've got a couple things I need to pick up. I don't know if I want to do it today or not, but because it's going on four o'clock now. So, uh, but if I do, I guess I'll just show you guys what I do. So we will see you guys in a little bit. Hey everybody, we are headed to- At the next stop sign, turn right. Every time I get on here. Oh Lord, I might as well stop until I get turned. Okay, I think she's done talking. All right, we got this, we're on the road. We got this little pup, whatever you call it, wolf pup going here. Cherokee wolf pup. It's not but 3,500 pounds. I can't even tell I'm pulling you anything. Um, it's one like 22 feet long, so this should be a profitable venture here. I am headed to uh, Fun Town in Anna, Illinois, and evidently that's a popular place because when these come on the board, they're gone. I got lucky and got this one. Um, there was four on the board yesterday for Anna, Illinois. I planned on this morning grabbing one of those, uh, calling in and getting one of those, but they were all gone. But this one was on the board. And I found out from um, the yard guy that takes care of the yard that this one was actually supposed to be delivered yesterday but the, uh, one of the windows in it messed up and the guy noticed it anyway time he got over to the main highway over here he, he noticed there was a problem so he brought it back and this morning Forest River fixed it they took it to Forest River they fixed the window problem and brought it back so they put it on the board <laughs> and uh, I just happened to look at the board at the right time and saw it on there so uh dollar 96 uh per mile i think it was 447 miles or something i'm going to try to go to uh so i figured it up and before i left i figured it up at 16 miles per gallon on the unloaded and eight miles per gallon loaded but i'm going to it's going to be 14 or 15 miles per gallon loaded, so I'm going to make more than what I thought, which I thought I was going to make. End up getting around $400, four to 500, so I should be close to the $500 range on this one trip. So, um, like I said, this will be a profitable run. Sometimes you look out. I'm gonna to try to get down to Indianapolis on the other side of Indianapolis. There's a Love's there. Last time I did this trip, I stayed at that Love's. So I'm gonna to try to make it there. It's not but like a two and a half more hour drive. So that'll leave me with about three and a half hours to drive in the morning. And it'll be a good, nice drive. I'll be out of the Indianapolis traffic. So, um, so yeah. Got about two and a half more hours of driving today. It's six o'clock Eastern time. So I should 
put me there around 8.30 Eastern time. I'll shut down for the night and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Well, good morning, everybody. Day two of the trip to Anna, Illinois. Just, well, I've been up a little bit. I've been getting my truck <clears throat> put back together to take off. Oh, uh, it's about 6.30 now. I woke up a little late, chose to get some sleep instead of rush out of here, so I didn't take a shower. So, but I'll be home probably in about five, six hours, so I'll just shower then. <laughs> a beautiful day, beautiful morning. We had a beautiful day yesterday, so uh, it's going to be a nice trip. Uh, Actually, I'm gonna be clocking in here pretty soon. So, uh, I'll probably be on the road in about 30 minutes. So, I'm gonna get ready, take off. We'll talk to y'all later. All right, good morning again, everybody. We're on the road now, it's 7.14. Left out about 10 minutes ago got about three and a half hour drive so we'll be there around I'm guessing 10 a.m. drop this thing off and then it's a couple of hours home I might even stop by work for a little bit it is on the way so all right mileage is good like I said yesterday the mileage is going doing great with this little 3500 tra pound trailer <clears throat> we are between we just left Mooresville Indiana so uh, it should be all we're on highway 70 west so it'll be highways but won't be going through any big cities today so it should be a nice trip uh, and I will try to get some views for you guys so we will see you later I'm gonna stop one other thing is I'm gonna stop and get some fuel probably uh, I found some on my app five dollars and thirty three cents over in Salem uh, Illinois, Indiana, uh, Illinois so paid 526 yesterday most of them are I only put two hundred dollars in yesterday um, most of them are 550 or even 580 so to find it at 533 is pretty good and uh, so I will probably I don't know if I'm going to fill completely up or not I might because I'm have to go back up uh, you know it's a it's a just a lottery I guess <clears throat> or not a lottery but just a chance trying to pick the right time to fill up now should I wait a couple days I'm going to leave out Saturday morning well actually tomorrow morning so so wait till tomorrow and see if the prices go down and fill up or go ahead and fill up now. So uh, I may just go ahead and fill up <clears throat> and uh, I guess I'll have to probably top it off somewhere uh, tomorrow after I pick up my camper tomorrow. I don't know, there's a lot of things in play. I know there's some fuel places down in Arkansas that are cheaper. And I know for sure in Texas they're cheaper. So I'm just gonna kind of guess today. I'm probably gonna go ahead and just fill up at 533. It's probably gonna be my best price. And uh, then when I get down to Arkansas or something, tomorrow I will put more in it and depending on how cheap it is in Texas too so I'll be going to Texas I'm pretty sure I'm going to get run to Texas 
could be somewhere else, but more likely to Texas. Anyway, I kind of rambled on, so we will talk to you all later.